Hey, in this video, we're going to be reviewing how to set up the diesel heater from Vavor. This is going to be part one of a two part series. Part one is just the setup. Part two, we're going to be in the field actually using this with a rooftop tent. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert with Sherburn Outdoors and thank you for your time. Hey, this is a part one of a two part series on diesel heaters or Chinese diesel heaters. There's all kinds of different terms. Last time we were out camping, I gotta tell you, I got cold. It got down to about 25 degrees. Um, everything had been going pretty well on the trips before. So I watched a bunch of videos where people actually had these uh, Chinese diesel heaters and you know, I wanted one. So I looked around, one thing, I bought this one from Vavor, V-E-V-O-R. Um, and I spent about $129.99 off of their website. It's about $150 on Amazon, a little bit cheaper there, and they actually had uh, free shipping in it. It took about a week to get to my house. It came in this box, and it really had minimal, minimal stuff. I will say, it did come intact. So when I bought this, I wanted an uh, all-in-one unit. I did not want to put anything together. I didn't want a kit. I didn't want to build my own boxes. I didn't want to do any of that stuff. I wanted this unit wanted to be able to do minimal stuff to get it set up, put some gas in it, and let it rip. That was the plan. So again, for part one of this video is, is setting this up, getting it fired up, looking at how much heat it's putting out, how hard is it to get it started up. Now I will say, the directions that this came with are absolutely the worst directions I have ever had. And that's actually saying something. This did not do anything. This showed me how to Take, take the pieces and parts and put it in a van. It didn't show me anything about setting this up. I had to watch a bunch of different videos to figure this, this out. There's really four major things you have to do when it comes out of the box to get it set up. I already put it together, but I did, I did do some B-roll on this. One is flip this thing upside down and you're gonna put your hoses in. First one we're gonna put in is the intake. This is the air coming into the diesel heat exchanger. And the second one we're gonna put in is the exhaust. That'll be the metal one. That is exactly what it is. It's the exhaust from the heat change, the uh, diesel changer for where the diesel uh, fuel burns. On the side of the unit over here, there is an area where you can put a screwdriver in there and actually uh, tighten those clamps down if they come loose when you're out in the field, or if you don't wanna have all these together and you wanna put it together, put these on when you get to your destination. I'm gonna leave them on and see how it goes. The third thing, the 12 volt DC cable. Now it did come with two wires that hook to the back, um, but I knew I would be plugging this into my power station with almost, you know, with the 12 volt DC cigarette lighter adapter. And so I bought this off of Amazon. It's very long. I think it's about 10 feet or so, maybe 12 feet, uh, because my power station from WattFun that I use, the 500 watt one, is it, usually in the back of my truck and I wanna make sure I have plenty of space. I haven't completely figured out how I'm going to mount this yet or, or where it's going to sit at the campsite. That's still in motion. That'll be in part two of this video. But I know uh, it needs to be set up properly with this thing not touching anything because this gets super hot. We'll hit this with the laser in a bit. And you can see how hot this gets when we run. So I've got these set up. And the fourth piece was putting diesel in. Uh, it takes one gallon, which was five bucks of diesel fuel. So all in out of the gate, we are at 129 here. We are about another $20 for this external tube. If we look at what, how we uh, funnel the hot air out of here, it came with this little guy, but I really don't know what to do. It doesn't flex. This is as long as this goes, and you pop this right on here, and it's, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. I, I mean, it's just gonna go up my rooftop tent, which is really far. So I bought an eight foot uh, insulated three inch adapter. It did come with the clamps. So that's what I'll be using. We'll just put that over the side. I spent about $20 on that, and this was about $11. So I'm about $170 in, plus the $5 for the diesel uh, one gallon. That's going to be recurring. It did come with some clamps. It came with some mounts, other things that if we wanted to use, we could. And it did come with a nice little remote, actually. Uh, so I can turn this thing on and off or up and down up, up in the tent. It shows it's running off of Wi-Fi. I will say I didn't have to do anything. I just, this is automatically paired up with this unit right here and we'll get, go ahead and get started. Let's hook this up to some power and let's fire it up. Okay, so we've got our power station hooked up right here. I've got the DC turned on. I've got our adapter hooked in. And when we do that, the, uh, the screen does fire up here and it goes into a P13 mode. And you can kind of see it shows the heat exchanger. One thing we need to do here first is we do need to prime the pump. 
We'll put both of these down and you can hear it. So it's primed up and we're gonna hit power, hold that down and it's gonna turn on. Now I had this set at H3, which was heat setting three. Now you can see right here, the heating coil inside the heat exchanger is turned on. That's that red and the fan is blowing. And this is actually starting to blow now. This is at 87 degrees, 84, 86, and our exhaust is at 68 degrees. And you can start seeing now this thing's kind of blowing some smoke out the end here. That's why I got the garage door opened up. But once it gets going, and it just kind of builds up. It's not as loud as I thought it was going to be, but let's see where we're at now with the heat. It's kind of kicking in. So now it's 97 degrees coming out of there. It's starting to blow too. All right, this thing's fully running now. I just kind of opened the garage door or closed it just a little bit so we can get some better lighting in here from our lights up here. So this thing is kind of teetering out now. And so I have it at heating three, kind of mid-range. Mid we can go high, low, where you want to be. But you can hear it, it's kind of it's not ticking as much as it was before. But the ticking is the pump. And so you see the fan is moving. It's generating heat is kind of what these particular things mean. Let's do a couple heat readings. If we do, we just hit the table right there where it goes 70 degrees. We hit inside the heat exchanger. We are at 207, 60, 260, let's say, coming out. That's hot. All right, one thing I want you to notice here, this is hot. This is 200 degrees right here on the exhaust. That's why I was saying I wasn't sure where I was going to mount that at. All right, so I did just put the hose. And what's the temperature coming out of the end of there? Now the air coming out of there is 119 degrees, 112. So we're getting super hot air coming out. And when we're done, we're just going to power this off just by holding the power button down. It's going to turn the unit off. Off, start going slowly starts. Obviously, you could pull the power out of here too, but I wanted to do a nice one. Starts going down now. This stuff is really hot. We look here, this is 215 degrees. Now, the exhaust itself is not too bad, it's a little, only 100, but right there leading up to it, 125. Go a little bit closer down, we're at 200. Wow, you know, that was pleasantly unpainful. I thought back to reading the directions or trying to read them that this was going to be a nightmare. But I got to tell you, it, it, it went pretty good. So this concludes part one of our two-part series. This was just setting the heater up, making sure it works. And this thing can blast out some heat. So part two, I'll be on a camping trip in the next couple weeks. It's been raining a bunch. So look for that video to come out. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Click that bell to be notified when we got new videos out. Hey, thanks for your time and look forward to uh, the next videos coming out. Everybody have a great day.